Here we go, boys and girls. The countdown. Three, two, one. Bang on five. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Yeah, it's very quiet. I don't know why. How's that? I think it's getting louder and louder, isn't it? <laughs> I love the soundtrack to this. Pretty good. Just abrupted. They ended. Shinriki, three thousand one hundred sixty-four. Day one hundred and ninety-nine. Arcadia Hall, Nadaria. Military Coalition Shia and Enlisted Army Group. Each year, they take over the city. The city of Omeropa is captured. Arus and Morotomo are driven away from the city. The city of Omeropa is captured. その影にはたった一人のプレイと天の聖杯滅の存在があった次のターゲットはイーラに決めたなぜ世界を破壊する気づいてるんじゃないか破壊したがってるのは人間だと僕が本国から受けた使命は天の聖杯滅の討伐だどうだろう僕らにその力貸してもらえないだろうかひょっとして怒ってる。熱の討伐のこと。国民を守るための戦いに身を置けるなら本望だ。君に頼みたいことはただ一つ。Like、あの熱を葬り去ってもらうことなのだから。一体何の目的で？別に。退屈しのぎなよただの。これが天の聖杯同士の激突お前いい目をしてるな俺の行く道はこの道だ交わることはないナイスナイス That looks quite good. It's my type of game. September. That's my birthday. <laughs> when we launched Nintendo Switch, hey Reggie, our vision was a home system you could play together anytime, anywhere. Two detachable Joy-Con controllers, countless play possibilities. From day one, all of you have shown the world what that means. Whether playing at home or on the go, from low to on high. Where will Nintendo Switch take you next? To a That's smashing crazy. invitational cheered by fans and challengers? Or on a journey through verdant fields and viridian cities in a timeless quest to catch them all? Gotta catch them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A few weeks ago, we showed you Pokemon, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. 
a grand new Pokemon adventure through the vibrant Kanto region where your partner, Pikachu or Eevee, is always by your side. Add the transformative power of Nintendo Switch and you can play as you like, anywhere you like, or for the first time in this series, catch or battle Pokemon on one system with a friend. You can even transfer a Pokemon into the game from Pokemon Go. This well, <laughs> is a Pokeball Plus. You can use it like a Joy-Con controller with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, or play the entire game with it alone. You can put a Pokemon into the Pokeball Plus, then bring it with you. Sounds like there's already one inside. It's the <laughs> mythical Pokemon Mew. Mew comes exclusive with every Pokeball Plus and can join you on your journey through the game. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Let's November Go Eevee, 16th. and the Pokeball Plus will be available on November 16th. Discover new friends and challenges as <laughs> so you explore they get this mysterious and enchanting world. <laughs> I like how they Whatever added a strap go, to it. <laughs> with whoever you like. <laughs> so you're not supposed only to throw it at you, TV. <laughs> now, let's check out something else we can't wait to show you. Okay, you ready for this? <sighs> All right. He's desperate. Don't even think about it. <laughs> All or nothing. <laughs> Yes! Oh, Mario oh. Party! Oh, come on, man. Hey. Hey, hey, what's up? Hey, what are you doing? Do 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 okay. <laughs> gotta change it up, though. That's gonna go too fast. Let's do it this way. We need to have, like, some angles. Okay. That looks cool. Ready? Do it. Oh, game on. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> oh. That looks really? cool. Come on. <laughs> Are you guys ready to do this? Alright, let me hang on this one here. Fasten it side. Okay. Alright, ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. One more. <laughs> one more. We should do one more. Rematch. <laughs> Me and my friends played 50 rounds of this. I did a drinking game to it. <laughs> yeah. That took hours. <laughs> what was that? Oh, it's a cooking mama game. That looks so much fun. Feb 5th. Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess. A gift to help guide the lost. Now, the goddess watches over Fodlan from her kingdom above as the mother of all life. The arbiter of every soul. I reckon three houses. Go ahead, give me orders. It's time to measure your worth as an instructor. Such a brutal, irrational world wow. we live in. <laughs> Some believe the crests, the tokens of the goddess's power, are necessary to maintain order. But they're wrong, teacher. The crests are to blame. to our ruin. So take your first step. It's now or never! I 
will return here someday, my teacher. Promise me that you won't forget me. I'll try to. Spring next year. That fire emblem. Dylan, you're right. Fuck's sake. I can't wait to drop off the battle bus and meet some of you on the battlefield in Fortnite. And on Nintendo Switch, you can have the complete Battle Royale experience, whether playing together online with friends in the same room or around the world. Available at 10 a.m. Pacific time today. Nintendo Switch, a home oh, console where you can today. access a full range of games content, including a wealth of groundbreaking games from our independent development community. Your support for indie games on Nintendo Switch has been inspiring. And to all of you, as well as all of the developers behind these rich and varied experiences, from all of us here at Nintendo, thank you. Let's pull back the curtain on a few more, including two we're showing for the first time here today. Aspiring chefs, ready your cleavers, pots, and cutting boards in Overcooked 2, a sequel that's brimming with more recipes, characters, kitchens, and white-knuckle mayhem. Uh -huh. Prepare for the ultimate cook-off with new features like the ability to throw ingredients, kitchens that can change <laughs> on the fly, and with Nintendo Switch, the opportunity to bake, barbecue, or broil with another player in wireless, local, and online play. Save the world from clumsy cooking when Team 17's frantic food juggler <laughs> arrives on August 7th. Hop on a snail Ford berries or wipe out the enemy's queen to claim victory in Killer Queen Black. Redesigned from the ground up, Liquid Bit and Bumble Bear Games' acclaimed arcade extravaganza that became a multiplayer phenomenon is coming to Nintendo Switch. And for the first time on console, two teams of up to four each can square off in exciting battles. Play it first on Nintendo Switch later this year. And finally, <laughs> looks really weird. venture through the mysterious oh, subterranean good. landscapes of a vast, forgotten kingdom in Teen Cherry's Hollow Knight, an action adventure filled with gripping combat and haunting secrets. Hand-drawn characters and sublime scenery abound in this sweeping platformer that offers endless hours of intricate exploration. We revealed earlier this year that Hollow Knight was coming to Nintendo Switch, and I'm pleased to announce that the game packed with all the previous downloadable content is available on the Nintendo eShop starting today. These are just oh. a few of the terrific indie games you can play in the months ahead. After this presentation, stay tuned for Nintendo Treehouse Live, streaming right from the E3 show floor, where our Nintendo game experts will give you a closer look at some of these games and more. And I personally cannot wait to watch as intrepid challengers test their mettle in our Splatoon 2 World Championship and Super Smash Brothers Invitational 2018, the action starts immediately following Nintendo Treehouse Live. Before we move on, I have an important update on a game I know fans have been looking forward to. Octopath Traveler from Square Enix is coming exclusively for Nintendo Switch on July 13th. This is a game. And you can download a brand new demo for the game <laughs> from the Nintendo eShop on June 14th. And it's really good. Now, oh, to let's take little. another action packed look at some more experiences coming soon to Nintendo Switch. Ooh, go, Reggie! <laughs> oh, Oh, 
on uh, mobile. Minecraft coming to the Switch. <laughs> Pixar comes to the Switch. Just dance. DLC was put in. Captain Toad. What? Fresh Bandicoot is a Sony title, I thought. 100, Alex. Wolfenstein 2 on your Nintendo Switch. Mega Man 11. Mario Tennis. Hi everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi of Nintendo. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. Recently, it's been nice to see people pull their Nintendo Switch systems from their bags to play, even when they have only a little bit of free time. Every time I see that, I can't help but smile. At Nintendo, we approach development with the goal of delivering new and unique games to surprise people all over the world, and we're thankful for the many publishing partners also making games for Nintendo Switch. Today we share just a small portion of what we're currently working on. We hope you will look forward to what's coming next on Nintendo Switch. Now, it's time to share information on a certain title. I'll turn it over to someone I think you know. Super Smash Brothers. Hi, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. Today, I'd like to introduce you to the new Super Smash Brothers game for the Nintendo Switch. As you may know, Super Smash Bros. is an action game about smashing beloved game characters off the screen. Ben. Many fighters have appeared in this series. Kidding. I'm sure you are all nice eager touch. to find out who will be joining the roster this time. So we made a video to showcase some fighters appearing in the game. The number next to each fighter signifies the order in which they joined the Super Smash Bros. series. Please, take a look. Okay. New Smash Brothers game. <laughs> Mario. Seamus. Amos. <laughs> Kirby. Bowser. Think. Think was pretty cool. Donkey Kong. Your favorite fox. Moth. Zelda. And Sheik. <laughs> Villager. <laughs> Method on <laughs> Mewtwo. Sonic Peach Pikachu <laughs> Ice Climbers Nice Got there in it Ah, uh, Inkling That's a Splatoon person <laughs> Captain Falcon The Resu And We Fit Trainer We Fit Trainer Charizard, Ivysaur, Bulbasaur. Ness. Yes. 
Lucas. Lucas! <laughs> no, and Ganondorf. Ike. Cloud. My favorite. <gasps> Snake! <laughs> Jigglypuff, Pikachu, Roy, Alima, <laughs> Tidiko, Isaru, Lucina, Robin, Bayonetta, Mr. Game and Watch, <laughs> Greninja, Dr. Mario, Rob, Delcon, Pit, Dark Pit, Antenna, Corin. God, there's so many. Bowser Jr. Doom Link. Young Link. It's <laughs> Lean and Luna. <laughs> Brawler, Sword Fighter, Gunner, Me. Wario, Little Mac. Pac Man. A wagga 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 wagga. <laughs> Shulk. Wolf. Mega Man <laughs> Ultimate Luigi Yoshi Nice Pika that is a big roster. Everyone. That's right. Every fighter in Super Smash Bros. history is joining the battle. Indeed, absolutely every Super Smash Bros. fighter ever is in this game. Whether they were originally DLC or only appeared once in the past. We believe that's what players want, so we made the impossible possible. Any way you slice it, this one has the most smash for your buck. Simply put, this is the biggest crossover in gaming history. Once again, worlds will collide. Even so, your starting roster may be as small as the original Nintendo 64 game. We've streamlined the conditions for unlocking fighters, and we want to make the process interesting, so it feels like you're constantly recruiting popular characters to your side. Eight-player battles are also making a return. See what happens nice. when you play many player different battles. fighters against one another. Now let's take a closer look at certain fighters by highlighting how they've changed since their last appearance. Mario! Mario's still easy to use, but we did add a little something for someone from his latest adventure. He can also wear his wedding and builder outfits. That's cool. Link dons his champion's tunic from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. <clears throat> his bombs are now remotely detonated, and his final smash unleashes ancient arrows. Dang. He can also wear Link's familiar tunic of the wild. Although it's been a while, the two-in-one fighter, the Ice Climbers, are back. Work together with Nana. Once she's gone, you're in serious trouble. <laughs> Ike's outfit from Fire Emblem Path of Radiance returns, along with his look from Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Now you can use both versions for the first time. The two different versions are even voiced a little differently. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. <laughs> we got different actors. We now have the female <laughs> version of Pikachu, complete with a heart-shaped tail. Did you notice Pikachu Libre is a girl? Fox's design is now based on Star Fox Zero, and his Final Smash has received an overhaul. This time, Final Smashes are straight to the point, so you can get right back to fighting. Falco's Final Smash features an unorthodox ship formation that's more unruly than Fox's. Either way, the Landmaster has been retired. Nice. In one-on-one -on -one fights, Ryu will always face his opponents, just like in his original game appearances. 
It's a small touch that reduces accidental command inputs. Charge moves like Samus's charge shot can now power up in midair. You can cancel with nice. jump or dodge, but you'll be open charge to attack. Out. Marth's dancing blade is faster and it's easier to unleash one after another. This holds true for Roy and Lucina too. In addition, Marth is now fully voiced in English. Keep your eyes open. Snake. Back by popular demand, veteran fighter Snake is sneaking back into the fray. It's been 10 years since his last appearance in the series, so we can finally make some new dream matches come true. Of course, <laughs> Shadow Moses Island is back too. King DDD's final smash is basically a cage fight where he unleashes missiles and a jet hammer. <laughs> It's Con McCracker! <laughs> Pichu is also returning from Super Smash Bros. Melee. Its electric shock still damages itself too, so be careful. In The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Zelda is more into research than fighting, so her design is from The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. Zelda is much more elegant and regal than our other fighters, but we made sure you wouldn't underestimate her energetic attacks. Her final smash is a ceiling move called Triforce of Wisdom. Sonic's nice. final smash, Super Sonic, is more souped up than ever. Either you're too slow, or he's lightning fast. Holy shit, that was fun. <laughs> Pac-Man also got a speed boost this time around. Looping her on the stage sounds just like Pac-Man, don't you think? Pokemon Trainer is back with Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. You can change Pokemon during battle, and this time there's no penalty for sticking with one, so feel free to pick your main. Also, you can play as a female trainer for the first time. Why do they give you Charizard? Not, um, Some fighters, like Captain Charman. Falcon, trigger a dramatic slow-mo effect on strong attacks in one-on-one -on -one fights. And of course, his hazardous big blue stage is making a return. Cloud. Just like before, you can play as Cloud in his Final Fantasy VII costume or his Final Fantasy VII Advent Children costume. Now you can see his limit gauge near his damage percentage at all times. Special displays are available for certain other fighters too. For example, you can see how much longer Robin can use Levin Sword and Tomes. For Villager, we made it easier to see what you've pocketed. Between the male and female versions, there are eight different villagers. Bowser's final smash, Giga Bowser, is even bigger and better. He's now as big as Bowser oh, okay. from the Yoshi's Island yeah. game. All of Mr. Game & Watch's moves are back, and he looks even more like he did in his original games. <laughs> his transformations are more full of character That's than so ever. That's so cool. Young Link from Super Smash Bros. Melee is making a comeback that makes three Links for the first time. Lon Lon Milk, anyone? After 10 long years, Wolf makes his return. His design is based on Star Fox Zero, and each of his moves have received a significant upgrade. <clears throat> Kirby is his usual puffy self, but we've added a little something to his stone ability. He has a copy ability for every fighter, so the more fighters we have, the more challenging he becomes to develop. Shulk used to require repeated button presses to toggle Monado art. But now you can choose a specific one with a button press and a quick directional tilt. Sure is handy to change art on the fly. We also added Fiora to his final smash. Nice. Ganondorf rises again, returning to his popular design from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And for his final smash, he becomes Demon King Gan. Mii Fighter's proportions have been tweaked a bit. There are three types. Brawler, Sword Fighter, 
and Gunner. The moveset for each type has also been enhanced, and you can now choose from 12 voice options. We're hoping to get this fighter ready for online play. Previously, Pit's final smash was three sacred treasures. This time, he'll be riding in style on the lightning chariot. In the last game, Zero Suit Samus' final smash called in her gunship. This time, she uses her power suit to fire a devastating laser. When Olimar gets damaged, Pick you'll me. see a crack in his helmet. <clears throat> but don't worry, it'll get fixed up right away. Bayonetta's costumes from her first two games are both available. Listen closely and you'll hear differences in the sound effects. It seems we have a guest. Rodan appears as an assist trophy. Warrior's final smash, Warrior Man, has changed quite a bit. After transforming, he no longer uses individual attacks to get the job done. Donkey Kong's final smash is all rapid-fire punches like Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. You'll notice that he and other fighters have expressive new facial animations. Little Mac's final smash is now a rush of blows from Giga Mac. In fact, all Final Smash moves in the game get right to the punch. Ness's new Damn, Final Smash calls quite a lot, Mala they? <laughs> and Pooh. Of course, Jeff still shows up as an assist trophy. Likewise, Lucas's Final Smash features Kumatora and Boney. At first glance, Wii Fit Trainer seems the same, but her face <clears> has a new look. I wavered a bit on whether to change it, but it was a request from the Wii Fit developers. We've included all the hazards from both versions of Mega Man Stage from Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. And for his final smash, say hello to Proto Man and Bass. That's cool. Palutena's special attacks have been streamlined this time around and her down special is now both a counter and a deflector. Rob has a new gauge on his chassis, showing how much fuel he has left for hovering. Notice the Epsilon symbols next to Lucina and Dark Pit's numbers? Each of these fighters are based on another fighter in the game. We're treating these fighters a little differently, and have decided to call them Echo Fighters. Allow me to introduce a brand new Echo Fighter. Peach or oh, Daisy? What? <laughs> Daisy joins the roster as Peach's Echo Fighter. She fights in a similar manner as Peach, but they have different characteristics, which we hope you'll enjoy. Have fun playing as your favorite princesses. Daisy. All in all, if you add up the changes we're making, there could be tens of thousands. I hope you're looking forward to some serious matchups. Damn. And here's a new fighter. A new fighter? Oh, Inkling. Inkling is a completely new addition to the roster. If you ink opponents, they'll take more damage from attacks. Different weapons are available as smash attacks or special attacks. The splatter shot, splat bomb, splat roller, and the final smash, killer whale. You can actually run out of ink, so it's important to refill by pressing the B button while shielding. Inkling Boy also debuts alongside Inkling Girl. Inklings are very fashionable. All eight have their own outfits and each has their own ink color, so matches get really bright. Oh my god. <laughs> By the way, Crazy. The puck's going on we this... added in the Squid Sisters as an assist trophy. During their live concert, the camera zooms in for a close-up. That means it's easier to get knocked off the screen.
While we're on the topic of assist trophies, let me share some additional information. As you may know, assist this is all about Super Smash in <laughs> battles. You can KO assist trophies by inflicting damage, and now you get points for it too. However, some assist trophies will remain unbeatable. Maybe an unexpected guest will photobomb your battle. Yep, it's him. Bomber oh, man. There's a wide variety. More than 50 of them appear in the game. They got 50. Of course, we're also adding even more Pokemon and items. We can't wait to show you. Oh, nice. <laughs> there are a variety of stages available in this game as well, including a massive <laughs> list of returning <laughs> stages. If you get a group together to play, it'll be a challenge to hit them all. The graphics have been improved as well. Let's get a look at some stages from various games. Princess Peach's castle, man. New York City. Wrecking crew. <laughs> right towers. Damn. So many cool things. And they added in. All stages now have both Battlefield and Omega forms too. These versions hover above an abyss. Their sizes and terrain are all the same, so savor the simplicity with music and backgrounds from your favorite series. Yo. Let's take a sneak peek at the new and returning techniques you can pull off during battles. The directional air dodge enhances mobility. It can come in handy when recovering from a fall. However, if you dodge too much, even on the ground, you'll be wide open to attack and your duration of intangibility gets shorter. You can execute short hop attacks by pressing the A button and jump at any time. Also, you can smash attack by pressing the A and B buttons just like the previous game. A perfect shield occurs when you release the shield button. Until now, you were able to pull it off without any major risk, but going forward, you'll need to time it carefully. For one-on-one -on -one battles, the damage dealt will now be greater than in battles with higher numbers of players. This should help ensure that the action is well paced. Let's go. In a timed battle, the fighter in the lead will sometimes flash with light. Better do something or no victory pose for you. And more. We've got something special for your playing pleasure in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Oh, they're bringing out the uh, GameCube controller. Nintendo GameCube controllers can be used in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. For many of you, it just isn't the same without them. Damn. Not to mention, all Super Smash Bros. series amiibo figures are compatible this time as well. In fact, 
All fighters' current amiibo figures will be supported, even if they're from a different series. Tap a compatible amiibo figure to add in a figure player, or FP, and level up. Your FP data from previous titles can be transferred. Cool. Spend all your money on them. <laughs> we hope you're as excited as we are. Our staff will continue working hard until the game releases. We really appreciate your support. We've made including every single fighter ever our number one goal, so I'm kind of hoping you aren't expecting too many new challengers. However, we do have one more announcement. Please, take a look. Another announcement. this Briefly. This is uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate. Is uh, Smash Brothers over yet? <laughs> oh They've taken up a lot of time with that. 7th December this year. 